All right, so we have our backing pieces stitched together here. The seams are pressed open and we're gonna be using a large flat surface. This is probably gonna be a hard floor in your home. We're gonna lay our backing piece out wrong side up. And what we're gonna be doing is smoothing this out and taping around all four sides so it's nice and taut and flat. So I start on one side of the backing in the center, tape all the way out to the corners, jump to the opposite side, tape that side, and then finish the remaining two sides so it's nice and flat and smooth and I don't have any wrinkles. Then it's time to add the batting, our middle layer of the quilt sandwich. It's kind of a big piece on this quilt so it's gonna take a little bit of maneuvering and moving around to get this big piece of batting flat and smooth right in the middle of our backing piece. If I have any excess hanging off the edge of the quilt at this point, I can easily just trim this off with my shears so that we don't have any batting hanging over the edge of our taped backing piece. So smoothing out all the edges and trimming away any excess. And now it's time to add our beautiful hexagon top. This is the most fun part. We're starting to see the quilt come together. And now it's time for pinning. We're gonna pin these three layers together. I like to use these curved safety pins available at almost any quilt shop. These are really handy and they make pinning really simple and easy. The end of the pin just pops right through the layers and they're really easy to close. We're gonna be adding pins about a fist width apart across the entire quilt surface. So four to six inches is a good approximation. We're gonna pin the entire quilt top so everything is secure and stable. And then once everything is pinned and smooth, we're gonna take the tape off and we are ready to get these layers quilted together over at our sewing machine.